Hello, Mo. This is Kenyon. I'm going to show you an easy way to resize photos that will result in uh, less distortion. Now, I realize some of the photos are too small, but if they're close to being big enough, they will still work and be a little blurry. If they're way too small, just don't use them. But I'm going to start off by doing the 1050 by 324 hero images, and the same concept can apply to the gallery image dimensions as well very easily. So I have Photoshop open, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is click File, and then New. And I'm going to set up uh, a blank file with the dimensions that we want. 1050 by 324. What and Also a nice feature is you can actually change up the name here for the files that we are doing. Um, but I'm going to make it a little different for training. Um, but it would be something like, what, Home or uh, deals hero March March 2013 you've been doing that I believe and I'm gonna put training because I already have the file names I have to make it different so 1050 by 324 72 resolution is fine um, over here on bit you want to change that to 8 otherwise later you will not be able to save as a JPEG if you leave it on 32 bit it, JPEG is not an option when you save rest of this is fine, white, uh, all this, don't worry about RGB is fine. So when I click OK, we suddenly have, uh, for lack of a better term, a template. Now you can see over on the left here, I've already downloaded the uh, files from Dropbox, and these here are all the hero images for the CCC, the Coast Coal Harbor. Once you have this set up, all you have to do is drag in the file, like so, and as you can see, this one in particular over here, it tells me it's 1200. So being that we need 1050, this one's definitely big enough. So then I simply move the file, grab the corner. I, I'm hitting shift. You can't see in the screen, but I'm holding down shift and just drag it out. Um, then a little bit of uh, moving around might be necessary just to make it look good. Then I hit enter and I'm ready. I'll go up here, I'll hit File, Save As. Um, let's see here. Once you're going, it goes really fast. You don't have to select the folders, obviously. Uh, deal. Oh, I had a typo. See, the file's already ready to go. Um, so I'm simply going to hit this drop down, go to JPEG, hit Save. There's one more box that pops up. Uh, for Coast, keep it on the 12 large file, max. Um, you're going to be fine when you do that. And it's over here in the correct size, not distorted, ready to go. So moving on to the next one, you simply come over to this layer over on the right, over here. Right click, delete the layer, and start again. I'm going to drag this one over. Same thing. Now this one also is a little bit different orientation than the, uh, than the photos, but we know it's... And actually, that's a good point. Over here, I look at the size, it's 50 pixels too small. So it's going to be a little blurry, but that's close enough for us. It's still going to look good. Hit return. Once I have it in position, and it looks cool. Mm -hmm. And then I simply go to Save As again. And this one I would change because it's a new page, so I would just change to, let's say, Rooms, or whatever it is, whatever it needs to be. Uh, again, drop this down to JPEG, save, high quality, done. Come over here, delete layer, do the next one. Uh, big, uh, Ecos, that one's big. So this one, I move it over, shift, drag. Uh, it's fine. Hit return. Uh, and then save us as a JPEG. See, I've done three in, in just a few seconds, so it goes pretty fast. Um, and this one is Eco, so I would change the file name for my own benefit. Hit save. High quality. And that one's done. Delete. And go to the next one. Um, this also works for the gallery photos. So I'm going to do it one more time for everybody's benefit. Click New.
The gallery filters are a different dimension. They are 948 by 631. So 948, 631. I'm going to change this one to uh, uh, CCC Gallery. Actually, what did I do it before? CCC. I have them numbered, so I know which order they go in the gallery. So the numbering, I go top to bottom, left to right from the Excel sheet. So this one would be 1. I forgot the underscore, but you guys know how to do that. March. 2013. Then each time I save it, I will only have to change this number. So 948 by 631, 72, 8 bit, everything is good. Hit OK. And now we have this template. So again, you start dragging them in. Move them. I hit enter off screen and it's done. One thing, uh, a command you guys may or not be familiar with though, if you need to reposition it, um, the best way is if you're on a PC, control T. If you're on a Mac, command T. So I'm going to do command T and it gives you this uh, free transform function. So if you wanted to move it up or if you sometimes you don't hit shift in time, you mess it up like that. If you ever need uh, to do the free transform, it's command or control T. But again, hit return. Once we like it, it's ready to save. Save as. I have my file name. I would put it in. Uh, I should put. I'm going to put a T for training because I already have these file names. Um, I forget. Once in a while, I forget this, but I always select JPEG. Save it. Max quality. Done. Delete and you would drag in. I'm going to do one more example and I'm done if everyone's wondering how long I'm going to talk. Looks good. Not distorted. In the middle. Save as. JPEG. Change that to 2 and T and save. Max quality, done. Delete. Move on. I hope this helps, Mo. Um, I'm going to send this along and obviously I'll hear from you if uh, you have further questions. Thank you very much.